Even though Boku no Hero Academia has a very long lifespan ahead of it for its manga, and also for the anime, this is still a topic that has constantly popped up in my mind every so often, and I have mentioned it in my reviews of the manga and even the anime every so often as well. And so I think it's time I sit down and I talk about the topic of pairings and what effect it might have on Boku no Hero, and will it suffer the same fate as Naruto did? And what I mean by that is, will there be like a big, like, hate-filled party going on at the end of the series, similar to how Naruto was? Now, to kind of explain, when Naruto reached its conclusion, there was some pairings that happened that made a big portion of the Naruto community kind of angry. Very, very angry. They went out of their way to just destroy their volumes, burn them to the ground, or, you know, just, you know, tweet out to, you know, Kishimoto, and then just hate on him, just, there, there was a lot of awful things going on at the time when Naruto reached its conclusion, and the reason for this was because of the pairings, and it made the entire Naruto community look like a joke, it made them look foolish, it's been like a big stigma. In my mind, and many others' mind, for a very long time, about how many view pairings. And, you know, you shouldn't always focus on pairings to determine if a series is good or not. Because many were automatically saying that the Naruto series, because of the pairings all that happened at the end... It, it ruined the entire series for them. And I'm thinking to myself, like, that's, personally to me, I don't think that's a valid reason to hate a series or think it's complete garbage. If it was a romance series or whatever, a shoujo romance, shonen romance, whatever, or seinen, jose romance, then I would understand why you'd be upset with the pairings. But Naruto was never about that. It was a battle shonen. And so the topic today is, will Boku no Hero Academia suffer the same fate as Naruto? Now, I'm not going to lie. There obviously is going to be some form of, you know, the Boku no Hero Academia community that will get angry at the end of the series. When it reaches its conclusion and they don't get the pairing they want, they're going to get angry. And there's going to be some hateful things that they're going to say. But will it be at the level of Naruto? That is the big question. So let's go into Naruto. Let's analyze what happened there and see if Horikoshi is doing anything similar or different from Kishimoto. Many were upset, many Sakura fans were upset that they didn't get the pairing they wanted with Naruto. They wanted Sakura to end up with Naruto, but that never happened. That, that was not a thing, and because of that, many got very angry very vocal, expanded to other communities around, you know, anime and manga that does pairings dictate if a series is good or not, depending on how it ends up, if it's not wrapped around pairings. And people were just upset that, you know, Naruto did not have Sakura, even though it never really had any prior buildup. Because, yes, Naruto was chasing after Sakura, but Sakura always went after Sasuke. And that, that was just a big thing. You know, Sakura's chasing after Sasuke, besides Naruto chasing after Sasuke. And you had to wear just Sakura only wanted him. And Naruto eventually, as you can see throughout the journey of, you know, part two, he kind of gave up on that. He just wanted to eventually just save Sasuke, become Hogage, and that was basically it. And we did have one little brief moment in, you know, part two of Naruto. Hinata actually stand up and fight Pain for Naruto when he was down on the ground. And, like I said, the Sakura fans were upset because Naruto did not have that in, like, that pairing with him. They, they, they were upset that Sakura wasn't with Naruto, but Hinata ended up with Naruto. But that's the thing, though. You didn't see Sakura jump out there in the middle of the field to fight Pain. You saw Hinata do that. It, it wasn't Sakura. So, many were upset about that, but at the same time, the way everything was done, it could have been handled a little bit differently to kind of clarify that Naruto would have ended up with Hinata at the end of the series. And I think it would have overall have made it to where the ending wouldn't have felt like it did for some fans to make them so upset. And so, at the end of the day, it mainly came down to not a lot of focus on the pairings, and that is kind of what caused that big, you know, cluster censoring myself, you know what I'm going to say, at the end of the series. So, is Boku no Hero Academia handling it better. Is Horikoshi handling the pairings to the setup better for the end-game conclusion of Boku no Hero Academia? Well, yes and no. Ochiko, our main female character of Boku no Hero Academia, she has slowly progressed feelings for Izuku. She has gained those feelings and she 
has tried to kind of express these in some way, but she is shy, and she's realized very recently that she has these, and she's kind of growing more and more attached to him, and she's taking things from him, trying to learn from stuff like that. So, Ochiko, it's obvious by the way this is going, there's eventually going to be to where she might confess to Izuku. Now, will Izuku end up with her? That is left to be seen. However, Besides just that, there's many characters, what you see with Horikoshi writing, he always has a character, like either a male or female character, that looks like they have some form of pairing. Some character of the opposite gender is always hanging out around them. For instance, you have Momo and, you know, Todoroki, Suyu and Tokoyami, Izuku and Ochiko, Kaminari and, you know, Jiro. And when you look at this, it does look like Horikoshi is trying to imply things with some of these characters. Now, if they end up together, then... They, they end up together. They don't, they don't. But it does look like he is trying to kind of make it a little bit obvious when it comes to some of these characters and the way they hang out. But like I said, this isn't the end game. Anything can happen from point A to point B before the series ends. I mean, one of these characters I've talked about already could potentially die and change a whole lot of things. Or one of the characters could turn out to be one of the traitors in UA. We don't really know. But ba basically what I want to say is, Horikoshi, at this time, point in time of the story... He has laid the groundwork for some pairings for the characters, but he hasn't done enough to where I could say he can be excluded from the Naruto problem. What happened with Naruto at the end? Even then, though, you do see him taking steps, different steps than Kishimoto ever did. He didn't really try to progress Hinata's romance with Naruto at all. He never really focused on it much. She was always that shy girl. I mean, when she had that moment of pain, that was like the big highlight of, you know, Naruto Part 2 and all that for her. And so when you look at these scenes... It does look like he's trying in some ways. He's not focusing on it, but he is trying. And so, maybe it could potentially turn out a lot differently. That's pretty much it. I just want to ask a quick question. How do you guys feel about that? Do you think uh, Boku no Hero will be, de you know, its reputation will be destroyed like, you know, Naruto's was kind of at the end? Like, when it came to the pairings? I'm not talking about writing and stuff. I'm, I'm not focusing on that right now. That's a completely separate subject. I'm just talking about pairing wise, just making the community look like a joke. How do you feel about that? Do you think that Boku no Hero won't face those same problems? Do you think it will? I mean, be honest in the comments below. I'm very curious to what you all feel about this, and so I love you guys. You have a very, very wonderful day or night wherever you live. Please be safe. Stay healthy. If you enjoy my content, please subscribe. If you like this video, please leave a like, and if you want to get notified for whenever I upload a video, please click the bell icon down below. So with that, be safe. Chibi out.